Mortgage interest rates sharply declined today as the Consumer Price Index, or CPI report, showed better than usual numbers. Is the Fed actually doing what they should be doing in their monetary policies to go ahead and correct the issues with inflation here in the US? Let's go ahead and get to that right after this. Hi there, everybody. Mike Petrus here, your star realtor of star and the Treasure Valley, back with another video to where we're going to go ahead and discuss what happened with mortgage interest rates today as the new CPI report, or at least the core CPI report, which the Fed strongly looks at, came out showing better than usual numbers. So is the Fed's monetary policies that they're putting into place actually working to be able to tame inflation, or are we going to have to see this on a longer stance? We'll go ahead and answer that question. But before we do, of course, I am a licensed local realtor right here in the Treasure Valley or the greater Boise, Idaho area. I am also a certified master inspector. So if you are looking to buy, sell, or invest right here in the Treasure Valley, please feel free to reach out to me. More than happy to uh, answer any questions that you have, set you up on a search, and get you into the home of your dreams. Of course, I can be contacted by this number up in the upper left-hand corner, or you can reach out to me via email. More than happy to answer any questions that you have and get you started on the relocation process or the moving process, of course. So let's go ahead, let's dive into the data. Let's see what happened today when the core CPI report came out. So what happened today? So by taking a look at what happened with the consumer price index here, we can see that really the month to month overall gains that we were seeing uh, over the last several months, which was really kind of rocking investor confidence, uh, creating two sell offs, all that kind of stuff, raising mortgage interest rates, uh, finally seem to be cooling and even ticking down. Uh, one of the majors that they do take a look at, which is the Fed, uh, would be the core CPI right over here. And we can see that last month, uh, month over month, it went up 0.6%, which was higher than the projection that they had. Uh, but this month, they had a projection uh, that it was going to go up 0.5%. But we can see that the actual numbers came in at 0.3%. So is the Fed's monetary policies finally starting to affect uh, what's going on in the markets and create more or less a sense that they are being able to curb inflation as it stands? According to these numbers, yes. But you really want to see this happen month over month. So let's not get our hopes up as of yet in terms of that the Fed's monetary policies that they are putting in a place with the federal funds rate is actually doing its job. So really, until we see this happen on a month to month occurrence with the CPI reports and the PCE, especially the core CPI and the core PCE, which is really what they take a look at. Uh, we're not going to really know if the Fed's job is being, you know, really conveyed forward and they're doing uh, what they need to be doing in order to tackle inflation. But these numbers are looking good. They are looking promising. This isn't the first time, though, this year, about six months back. Can't remember which month in particular, but the numbers also showed really good signs brought back investor confidence. But then as we know, inflation continued to spiral out of control. So we're still gonna have to just monitor, be patient and see what is going on. But today, consumer or I'm sorry, investor uh, confidence came back in a very, very big way. And now if we go ahead and we take a look at the 30 year uh, MBS, the 5.0 coupon, man, what a hit. And as we know, when the price of the MBS goes up, mortgage interest rates are going to come down. And that's exactly what happened today. In fact, the 30-year fix took a whole whopping 0.6 point drop. Uh, that, that were 60 basis point drops. That is huge. And it's huge to see it actually started to go back into the sixes. So we'll just have to continue to watch this on a daily basis. If you are looking to say uh, buy or invest in real estate uh, anywhere here in the U.S., We'll have to keep watching these numbers to see if they continue to improve. I think that they possibly will, but we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll see how the markets kind of react. But today, very, very good day. Uh, if we're looking at the 15-year UMBS, the 5.0 coupon, again, same thing, up 91 basis points, which is just absolutely huge, almost a full point. And we saw that those came down to as well in the overall interest rate. So overall, if we're just looking at the numbers for a 30-year fixed, uh, today we're looking at 6.62%. Big, big dive, 60 basis point dive, huge, awesome stuff. 15-year fix was looking at six, uh, maybe even might tip into the fives uh, come tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see the data. 30-year FHA is sitting at 6.2. 30-year jumbo is sitting at 6.1. 
five and one arm sitting at 6.12 and the VA 30 year is sitting at 6.25. So let's quickly dive into what happened in the bond markets, especially when it comes to like the 10 year and the two year treasury yield. And as you can notice here, big change in that too. Uh, as we know, again, the yields will come down when investors return and they start kind of buying up. And there was a huge price change today that really we just haven't seen in a very, very long time because a lot of investors have been putting themselves in defensive positions over the last month and a half because they just were not aware of what the Fed really kind of had in mind. Uh, but we can see it jumped up 2.64 uh, basis points today uh, in terms and change that and really kind of drop the 10-year yield down below the fours of which where it was before. But if we go ahead and we take a look at the two-year treasury yield, we can see that that also took a hit as investors uh, started returning, lowering the overall treasury yield. Uh, but we're still with the two-year treasury yield, we're still on that inverted curve, which is still indicating that a recession, or at least the effects of the recession, are going to be coming up. So do I actually figure that the Fed has what it takes in its monetary policy right now to avoid the effects of a recession? I still do not see that yet, but I've been wrong before. But I'll tell you, to expect really a soft landing at this point with all the damage that's been done and as aggressive as the Fed said as they still need to continue to be. I just have my doubts on that. So a soft landing, really, again, I just kind of want to reiterate, I really kind of doubt that that's going to be coming up as to more like the effects of the recession, because the Fed really just has to prolong this and do it for longer. And anytime you're really kind of putting the pressure on the economy, a recession is going to generally be there. And we already do know that Jerome Powell has came out and said he needs a softening of the labor markets and uh, they needs to be able to quell this demand. Because really, what is the definition again of inflation is that there's too many dollars out there buying up too little products. And he clearly said it in as daylight that he figures that we as Americans have too much money in our pockets and he is going after it. So let's just go ahead and let's take a look at what happened real quick in the stock markets. Again, they reacted very, very well again today. Uh, the Dow came up uh, 1,116.70 points today, which is 3.43%. Huge gain in the Dow Jones. If we're looking at the NASDAQ, it came up 705.55, up 6.81% today. Also huge gains. And if we're taking a look at the S&P 500, we're looking at 191.85, up 5.12% today alone. So I just kind of want to throw this out there because I figured that I was, I was right on this. I figured that, you know, a lot of the numbers and there was monkey business going on with this before the midterm elections, uh, just to try and show the overall health of the economy and not really kind of tank the current administration that's in there right now. Now that the midterms are over, are we going to see more favorable numbers, you know, in this uh, showing maybe actual more truth? I really kind of do. Again, I'm not crying conspiracy, but it just it just did not feel right, especially if you're looking at the jobs report uh, from July, where it hit 520,000 jobs when the month before you had a 300,000 gain and the month after you had a 300,000 gain. It just did not seem correct. In recap, Really today, the core CPI report was really showing that the Fed, uh, their monetary policies that they're doing with the federal funds rate is actually starting to show some signs that it's able, able to tackle and cap inflation. But again, don't hold your breath. We really need to see this happen on a month to month basis. We also know that the yield curve uh, between the two-year treasury yield and say the 10-year treasury yield is still on an inverted path. And in order for this to return back to normal, the 10-year for the actual yield is gonna have to su supersede the two-year right now. And right now the two-year is still above four to where the 10-year is still giving a yield of 3.8. So we do need to see it go in an upwards kind of linear fashion and start to kind of tapering off as we get into the longer investments because that's what the US government really wants uh, when it comes to treasuries is they want you to invest longer and for a longer period for your maturity. So again, do I really see the Fed being able to come in with a soft landing at this point? I've been wrong before, but honestly, I just don't see it coming. I think that they're going to have to really still continue to tighten down the screws. But now the question is going to be, especially with the December meeting coming up, 
How much higher are they gonna raise the federal funds rate? Well, they've also made it clear that they still anticipate to get aggressive regardless of what happened today. So we can expect it to happen. But now the question will be, will they go up a half point, say on the federal funds rate, or will they go up another three quarter? Will they over tighten in order to create a recession here, uh, the effects of the recession right here in the US? And honestly, my answer to that question is I believe yes. So expect some pain to happen along the job markets, uh, et cetera, but also, uh, more or less just kind of expect uh, the Fed to keep this going to the point to where they're going to have to be forced to loosen their monetary policy. Now, if they do come in with a soft landing, well, then that's cool too. They, so in other words, uh, what they did is they did enough to be able to taper it down to where they can loosen their monetary policy and get the economy back on track. But again, I think it's going to be more pain as compared to coming in softer at this point. So we'll just have to wait and see as the new reports continue to come out. Uh, the PCE will be the next, and then we'll have another CPI report next month. And then we'll also see what the Fed is going to do uh, come the December meeting and see how much more they're going to end up tightening the screws. Uh, but today was a really, really good day. Mortgage interest rates came down in a really, really great fashion. And let's hope they continue to come down and start getting people you know, back out there feeling confident about the American economy. So thank you very much, everybody, again, for taking the time to watch this video. Of course, if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to me or please feel free to comment below. I'm very responsive to that. Love to hear your thoughts about what you think is going to happen. Um, is the Fed going to get continue to get more aggressive, et cetera, et cetera? Would love to hear your thoughts. But of course, if you are looking to buy, sell, or invest right here in the Treasure Valley, feel free to reach out to me. I can be reached at 208-715-STAR. Again, that's 208-715-7827. And if you're looking to begin your home shopping experience today, please visit my website at www.yourstarrealtor.com. Also, if you're looking to relocate in from say out of state right here to the Treasure Valley, please click in the description below, download my free relocation guide. So that way you're in the know before you decide to make the move. Also, please click on the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so that you're constantly in tune with all the videos that I do come up with. And I look forward to the day that we speak. Thanks again very much, everybody. God bless. I look forward to the day I call you my neighbor. Until then, talk then. Bye-bye.